Welcome royal family to the Lighthouse Delphi. I'm your oracle Rose Delphi, also known as Sarah, the Mediterranean goddess 1111. I'm so happy to be here to do a collective message for you guys. So let's just welcome the family. This is my little mascot, okay? This is Strawberry. I'm gonna call him Barry. And then this is Purity, the little white unicorn. Okay, so you might resonate with hearts, unicorns, or strawberries, okay? You might be like a little strawberry shortcake yourself. Okay, so anyways, welcome you guys. If you're new, welcome to the family. And if you are returning, what's up? You know how we about to do. We're about to get a message and flow with the spirit. Okay, so I just want to thank the Holy Spirit Prime Creator. I heard slow down. So you might have to slow down in your daily life, family. Okay, I know that you are a creative being you also have a lot of responsibilities and priorities but it's important to rest i'm already getting the download so i just want to thank holy trinity and my ancestors of the highest divine truth and i want to say everybody's welcome here okay because i got a download earlier artemis again the whole thing and um source was telling me that this is the modern day ephesus and in Ephesus, when Paul went with Christianity, and then there was already that Mediterranean belief, the Temple of Artemis, um, they were at like a, a, a standstill, at a war. And Source was telling me, this is the pure love of Christ, of the unification of all. So I just want to say everybody's welcome here. You know, I'm free to believe what I want, and you're free to believe what you want. So when I welcome in the Holy Trinity, that's what leads me and guides me, Ashe. So... I also um, was seeing, like, I went to go look this up, right, online real quick. And um, it was actually, I was hearing, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And so understand, family, that the path before you is lit up by divine source, the universe is conspiring to light up this path for you. And when I had clicked to look at the lyrics of the song, there was a alligator and it said, this alligator is the size of a semi truck. And I was like, holy shit, that's a big ass croc. It was a croc, not a gator. It was a croc. And I was like, dang, that's a big ass croc. And source is like, yes, on your journey, just like Moses in the Nile, you may even encounter crocodiles, but God is telling me that you are so equipped and you are way more powerful than you think because when Moses even faced the crocs, he was just an infant. So your, your infant self, your spiritual infant self is even able, is so powerful. It could take out freaking crocodiles, you know, but there is a level up that is continuing to happen. So now you're able to even take out crocodiles the size of semi trucks. Ashe, ashe. But this, um, yeah, yeah, wake up. So Psalms 119, 105. It says, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. And when the song came to my head, I wanted to look up the lyrics. And it says, when I feel afraid and I think I lost my way, still you're right beside me. And nothing will I fear as long as you are near. Please be near me to the end. I will not forget your love for me. My heart forever is wandering. Jesus, be my guide and hold me by your side. I will love you to the end. Nothing will I fear as long as you are near. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So I'm also getting like the hermit card in my mind's eye. You know, sometimes you have to go within to find that light to light up your path. You have to go within and connect with your Christ self, with Christ, and be able to see the path that is set before you. Ashe, Ashe. And when I went to go start this reading, it was 12-12. And, um, you know, that's like 33. Master number 33. I heard, you know, the crucifixion and the resurrection of Christ, the crucifixion, crucifixion and the resurrection of you, 
of the collective family. And um, I feel like you're at a level of mastery now. Okay, so this is for my chosen collective. And I looked it up. It says the angel number 1212 means new beginnings, balance, and trust in spiritual growth and timing. All right? Listening to your inner voice. So your inner voice, when you spend time with source, gets very strong. And the more you ignore it, the 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 because it's already a faint whisper. But the more you ignore it, then you won't be able to hear it, Source is telling me. So don't ignore it. All right? And, I, and now I'm hearing, like, there's a lover that might feel ignored or something like that. Or, like, I don't know. But I was hearing that song. It says it's by Carly Rae Jepsen, that Call Me Maybe. I was hearing, um, what part of the song was it? Hold on. I lost I lost the channel a little bit. So somebody doesn't want you to know. Somebody doesn't want you to know. But I was what was it? What did I what let me see what lyrics I looked up real quick. Before you came into my life, I missed you so bad. Before you came into my life, I missed you so bad. I missed you so bad. I missed you so so bad. So I feel like this is a past life soul love because this person missed you before they met you. How are you going to miss somebody before they you even meet them? But it's true. It's like you've you've had a connection with this person since you were a child, whether you know them or not. So it's giving like twin flame vibes, twin ray vibes, whatever you want to call it. Okay? So... You guys get whatever, like if you smoke or you drink or whatever, not, not alcohol, but whatever, do your thing. But I ain't judging nobody and get your wine or whatever. Let's get into this reading. All right. Hold up y'all. Time out. Okay. If you like this reading. All right. And if you just like vibing with me. Hit the like button, share, subscribe, okay? Go to my website, lighthousedelphi.com. All the information will be below. All right. I feel like a lot of you guys been through different tower moments and astro waves and you've learned to ride the currents of life. Ashe. Ooh, that's a lot. All right. You are a spiritual commanding officer. You are of high rankings. All low vibe spirits have to bow to you. Ashe, Ashe. So even the low vibe spirits that think that they get over on you they're not even getting over on you because they actually have to bow to you and they have to heed your command so if you tell them to go back to where they came from or you tell them like they serve you these low vibrational spirits have to bow to your command and they serve you ashe you might be a life path number three and also march 1st might be your birthday or might mean something to you as well as, um, what is that, Aries energy? Gossip and idle talk. We got, we got March 1st again. Something about March 1st. Or the 1st, maybe your birthday's on the 1st. Temperance angel, true balance, gossip, idle talk. Chosen ones are too focused and don't give up. Okay, you see that? You've learned to temper your um, reactions. So it's like you don't just react, you respond to shit now. And earlier with that 1212 energy, um, that's that, that I already said balance, right? So there's people that idle do idle talk and gossip. And honestly, it's going straight like 
under you straight it it's not even affecting you at all because you're too focused on your mission and what god is telling you to do you're too focused on yourself as well to give a fuck what people say and i hate you know sorry if i cuss and it bothers you go find another reader okay um i try not to cuss that much but i'm passionate so that's how it comes out sometimes but like i like I give a fuck. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know how people say, oh, that went right over my head. Like chosen ones be oblivious sometimes. And it's not that we don't know. We know. We just really focused on um becoming and and being the best spiritual commanding officer that we can be. We're of high rank. What is a, you know, a general or a commander going to, you know, address low vibe shit? No, no, we don't address that shit. We don't even address it. Okay, this says connecting with the ancestors. Let's see, it says, like, if, if you're dealing with any kind of inflammation in your body, connect with the earth for ionization purposes but also connecting with the root chakra it says eating like your ancestors so eating like your ancestors wearing um clothes like your ancestors doing skin care like your ancestors hair care body care like the stuff your ancestors use that's why i use a lot of olive oil you heard me as mediterranean goddess um because it says it will be good for your lungs, your vessels, your blood, your heart, your skin, your nails, everything. I feel like you can't be defined as well. I feel like your swag is so magnificent that people can't, they, they sit there and talk shit because they can't put you in a box. No, you cannot limit a chosen one sorry so sorry not sorry <laughs> you may high priest high priestess be going through ascension symptoms here and i think that's what came up about like tapping into the ancestors because as you're ascending and you're you're getting these uh like maybe like a runny nose or just pineal gland um detoxification and decalcifying your pineal gland you have to be able to um, tap in to that root chakra to um, stabilize the energy that's moving through your body. We have Libra energy here. The most beautiful things in life are free and can only be experienced and not bought. So I got somebody in love with you here because it says your person wants to take it slow with you and cherish every moment of evolving with you. So your person really loves your heart and your soul and they want to actually take it moment by moment and take it slow with you. They want to take their time with you. I just want to take it nice and slow. Now here we are, driving around town, contemplating where I'm gonna lay you down. Girl, you got me saying, my, 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 I wish that I could pull over and get this thing started right now. I wanna do something freaky to you, babe, thing. I don't think they heard me. I, I, yo, I can't stop singing this. Want to do something freaky to you, baby. Call out my name. Somebody wants you to call out their name. Or like they're calling out your name in the astro. They want to take it nice and slow with you. In bed and just in the whole evolving process, okay? And that's why it says the most beautiful things in life are free and can only be experienced and not bought. So I feel like they feel you like you are the most beautiful thing and that experiencing your energy is 
has enriched their life and it it's free it's priceless it's like that commercial i feel like you're priceless the things that you really truly value and love and experience are priceless flurries of love we got capricorn energy snowflakes from the north star i feel like you're you are as rare as a snowflake and think about it everybody is that's what people need to understand everybody is as rare as a snowflake it all crystallizes in its own unique way so i feel like you're crystallizing in your own unique way and also this love is crystallizing in an, in a unique way and again you know they're being led to you but also you're being led down the right path towards your north star towards your north node again what is that the number 12 on the back the Midas touch we are life animations of divine source our essence bringing divine to life so you have the golden touch and you bring things to life your essence brings life okay and then it says when they try to mimic our authenticity they're trying to mimic the holy spirit and see the holy spirit is not something that can be mimicked oh, oh the holy spirit you cannot mock the most high all right because the holy spirit is something that you actually have to experience it's one of those free beautiful things that you actually have to connect with but there's somebody that's trying to mimic your authenticity or they have tried to mimic your authenticity this is past present future energy again collective reading as well take what resonates and leave what doesn't but they've tried to mimic your authenticity but they really slap god in the face because you're trying to mimic the holy spirit instead of actually experiencing the holy spirit and flowing with the holy spirit look at this again imitation you guys you see how big this deck is so for it to talk about mimicry mockery and imitation here it says imitation is the greatest form of flattery right when people try to imitate you when your kid tries to imitate you maybe if somebody likes you and they try to imitate you that's a great form of flattery but mockery mimicry and mockery is the greatest form of disrespect don't dare compare because then you know these people that are trying to mimic your authenticity and mimic the holy spirit it's not because they flatter you it's not because they're you know imitating it's literally they're mocking it and disrespecting the spirit because they're comparing their selves or comparing their gifts to your gifts and it's like it's not like that the holy spirit can work through each snowflake through each crystalline being but they have to be able to experience that themselves, you know, and it takes um, initiations. So I hate that energy. I'm sorry. I need to just, you know, when people, it's because they're in low vibe, insecure energy. But that low vibe insecure energies, they just have to bow to the spiritual commanding officer, honestly. They got to bow to the Holy Spirit. They got to bow to your authentic nature. They're actually not just disrespecting the divine and disrespecting you. They're disrespecting themselves. Because Source wants them to tap into their own essence their own authenticity so then they can experience the holy spirit instead of mimicking it and like i said it's okay for people to be fl like to flatter you by you know imitating certain things but going into full-blown mimicry and mockery is disrespecting yourself so these people don't take it out don't even take it as an attack don't even focus on it like how what did it say the the, the chosen ones don't even give a fuck where is it? The chosen ones don't even give a fuck. 
So they might be talking about your authenticity just because they're a mimic. They wish. They wish they could be themselves. They wish they could tap into their pure, authentic, divine, holy spirit like you do. And the thing is, is they can. They just got to not be afraid. They got to walk that path. Okay? Yeah, because I'm getting you're a leader. Look at that. My unicorn fell. You're a leader. You're a leader of the priestess and the priests. You know? So you might have other people that you're leading you know, in this, in this path, which is beautiful, but you're the boss, you're the Marvel boss to be marveled. Okay. So you're like a, a X-Men boss. Like you are the spiritual commander. You're the leader of the, it's like, who's that professor Xavier It's like your actual professor Xavier, you know, you're someone to be revered, marveled your gifts and your essence. Okay. So what happens, that's uh, so what, make sure you're doing, you know, have your evil eye and stuff like that and understand that you're protected and doing your spiritual cleanses because people are looking at you and they're marveling at your glow up. They're marveling at your, your essence, your soul essence, your authenticity, the, the Holy Spirit working through you and your gifts. And it's other high priests and it's other priests and priestesses that you're leading. You know, and some of them might try to, you know, sometimes it can start as flattery and then go into um, where they're comparing themselves and sources saying, please don't compare my creations. You know, I'm hearing like, just like the, the rainbow is beautiful, so isn't the sunset. You don't see the sunset going, oh, I'm not as beautiful as the rainbow, or the rainbow going, oh, I'm not as beautiful as the sunset, because they're both equally beautiful to be experienced. Ashe, ashe. Okay, so let's get, what should I get to close out, Holy Spirit? All right, let's get a tour of love card. You guys can purchase this deck on my website okay um i'm feeling like i'm gonna i'm actually gonna get a couple out of here and then i'm just gonna grab a song from over there okay stay focused like i said you're focused chosen one you don't care about idle talk or what people are saying about you, your authenticity, nothing. It's just a matter of time. This is just a matter of time. Stay focused. Mm. You are this magical rose. The everlasting rose, baby. The rose that never dies. See, the rose that never dies. Bring me back. I'm not done. Grave digger. <laughs> you are the fucking rose that never dies. Look at this undercover boss. I already told you, you a boss. You're a leader of the priest, the priestesses. You're a high commanding officer. A master. You got gambit here. So you're helping people develop their new gifts or you're activating people's new gifts or... Something like that as well. And you might look like a regular Joe Schmo. Because look at this. His name says Joe there. But you ain't. It's only a matter of time before you are revealed. All right, let's do one more in bottom of the deck. Bottom of the deck. Cosmic Love 222. Again with the balance. All right. Fall Jericho, how quick can you get naked? So be authentic. Let's let all the bullshit go. I know it could be hard because a lot of the times we identify with our struggle. And it's a process of peeling the layers. You know, I've gone through a lot of shit too, guys. And we have to allow that stuff to, to fall and still be our authentic self. Okay? I'm hearing don't be afraid. Don't hide behind a mask, okay? People want you, 
Look at this. What is this black magic? Return to sender. That's what I'm saying. There's those, there's those certain evil eyes on you. And they want to keep you in that low mindset. But how quick can you let all that shit fall and just be that authentic baby? <laughs> this is the this is the baby that could that defeats the crocodiles, bro. Like a this like Hercules. This says been alone with just a truck and a phone, Jimmy and on the guitar. So I feel like, you know, it's only a matter of time before you really resurrect. Okay. This is an undercover boss resurrecting. But as you've been alone, um, you've been practicing your craft, whether it's whatever it is, whatever, however the Holy Spirit moves through you. There's so many different ways that the Holy Spirit can move through you. <clears throat> Here's your soul flame out here. It says, spirit catch fire. I used to be a, fi a fighter. Now I'm retired, attracting my love and desires. And this says in retirement. So I feel like you, in the first how I was saying in the beginning that 33 ascended master 33, I feel like you've already gone through a whole bunch of wormholes and you came out and you are transformed and you've been in retirement. But it's like God sent you back here for a for such a time as this mind over matter, North node jumping karma versus dharma all right i'm hearing a second chance but i'm also hearing um new levels there's definitely though somebody that wants to connect with you your soul flame and it's only a matter of time before you guys come together in union um, it's not, it, see, they want to take things slow with you. So it's not about rushing, but the quicker you guys could let Jericho fall, the quicker you guys can let all the bullshit fall, the quicker you can North no jump is the quicker you guys could be together. Let's just get a music card. Drew Hill, how deep is your love for me? Tell me what it's going to be. Do you see yourself messing with a dude like me on the low so no one will know so somebody wants to know how deep you love them and they want to know if you could see yourself with them but this is saying so but no one to know so i'm not really understanding why they don't want no one to know but i mean it's probably because you or your person is an undercover boss so a lot of the shit they gotta do um, more quietly. Love don't cost a thing, J-Lo. Even if you were broke, my love don't cost a thing. So it's like, it goes back to that card that I had earlier that said that the best things in life are free and experienced. So, oh my God, didn't I, didn't I fucking channel this? <laughs> I am the mother freaking truth. I'm the truth. My collective's the truth. We are so divine. Nice and slow. My usher says, it's seven o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top cruising the streets. So something about driving too, though. I got a real pretty, pretty little thing that's waiting for me. Mm-mm. I pull up, anticipating a good love. I won't keep you waiting. I got plans to put my hands in places I've never seen. Girl, you know what I mean. Let me take you to a place that's nice and quiet. There ain't no one there to interrupt. Ain't got a rush. I just wanna take 
get nice and slow. Oh God, somebody wants to take their time with you and put their hands in places that they've never experienced with you, okay? And I feel like this kind of love is so beautiful that like when they actually do or when you guys do come into like a physical union, it's going to be so sacred because you guys really truly love and appreciate each other and, and really truly see each other for all that you are. Woo! Ashe, ashe. If you guys like this reading, hit the like button, subscribe. If you want to donate to your girl, all the information will be down below. When you donate to me, you will be blessed, okay? If you want a reading while my readings are still open, go to lighthousedelphi.com.